Hi, I'm so glad you could join me today. Now, before we get started with this video, there might be some context that you need first. So just go down to the description and there will be a link to the video with all the context. Now, if you've already watched that, just sit back and enjoy the video. The leg strap is now attached. Check that the leg strap is firmly fastened over the center of your left thigh, but not too tight. me all the time. Look what I have. A knife! Yes! No. He's a maniac, maniac. Dear baby. Dear baby. I hope someday. <laughs> the appellant set me free. There's something in the ring. There's something in the ring. They should have this up with Mario Kart. I'm a free am I'm the one that sets loose all the M monsters. I am a fool. Now I have to exercise to defeat him. Sorry if I surprised you. The ring's talking. My name is Ring, by the way. Of course you do. Drago's dark influence has a horrible effect on anything it touches. <laughs> Me too. Do I have the sun backwards? Just gonna eat my pasta while you struggle. Why is my hair on fire? <laughs> I love this game. I'm gonna get games just because I love this game so much. Come on. You imprinted on my daughter! I think my daughter after the Loch Ness Monster! Am I supposed to hold it like this? You'll know we're in sync when your hair flares up. Nintendo included a box of matches to set my own hair on fire. Time to exercise. How do I move? Alright. Oh. Let's go. That's how I move. Try pressing in on me! Ooh! You can fire an air blast like this. Remember that. <laughs> Break! Break! Try pointing me downward and pressing in. Good! I got a jetpack! <laughs> Stairs are easier to climb if you raise your knees up higher. Die butterflies! I'm the villain. Pull me from both sides to back in I can suck in coins! Oh, I love this game! Okay. okay, hear me out. This game, Wario skin. I bet. Why would I ever do anything other than suck? Go! No, I don't want to measure my pulse. I would like to take a moment to thank everyone that worked on this game. Okay, I guess I'm battling now. Oh. 
defeat the monsters that Drago created, you'll have to fight against them in big battles. Let's warm up by giving this guy a smoothie blend of kale and punishment. Just like Grandma used to make. I got moves. I got moves here. Squat, overhead press, knee to chest, chair pose, or give up. We're gonna start with squat. Oh. Oh. Okay, that is four damage. Okay, gotta keep doing them, that's why. It's a horrible idea, I shouldn't have put that in tents. I'm already sweating so much. Lower! This friend's like he has a lot more than I am. What left? Good, we stay focused. Thanks. Defend with an ab guard? You should feel it in your stomach, not your arms. Overhead press. This friend gets some sort of sick kick out of watching me sweat. Increase your pace. <laughs> Too fast. Wow, I'm, I can barely see. There's so much sweat in my eye. Oh, I hit him. Kill him. Uh, time to keep running! Another battle. Alright. Down here now. Good job! Awesome! Very nice! I don't know if I'm right for chair pose. Ah! I hope I learn some new moves. Good boy. The ones I have now aren't fun. Level three, baby! Okay, well, I guess let's go try and beat the boss. So I'm level three. This says level four. We're gonna try it. Is that him? I'm gonna go punch him in the face! I don't think I should be battling this guy yet. I have mac and cheese today. I don't think he has to eat because he's a demon. Channel. I forgot when he told me when to breathe. Oh God. Okay. I am on my way. I can go the distance. I'll be there someday. If I can be strong, I know every mile will be worth my while. I would go most anywhere to feel like I belong. I died! Alright kids, that was, that was 20 minutes. It said don't try this until you're level 4 and I really went in as a level 3 being like, I can do it! I'm a fitness boy! Thank you, thank you, thank you everyone. When eating your meals, consider starting with your vegetables first. Well, I started now with mac and cheese first today, so... Time. Unless that's a vegetable. Be careful not Big to mac and cheese is a vegetable. Well. No. Tragic. Close. You had said cheese on mac. No. It's the order. You're right, cheese and mac is a Bring vegetable. Yourself mac and cheese is a meat. I need a hero. Holding out for a hero until the end of the night. Now switch legs. Shift your center arms forward and, and your stretching is complete. Good job. Ooh, you guys can actually set alarms on this and they'll tell you when it's time to work out again. The ring is alive. Your ring, oh, your ring. Oh. Ring. I do not want an after workout pretzel. I do want some after workout water, though, that's for sure. Why didn't I fill up the Brita filter? I am a fool. Right, this crib is too precious for placing a baby inside, so only exists to remind you your sense of perfection is just a reflection that you are not mentally prepared to make room for a kid. Adam! 
Why don't you live, Adam? Just make a start. Are you willing to take the next step? Ready, set, ready, set. Look at these jugs! That's Ring Fit Adventure. Say goodbye to the people, Megan. Um, yeah. It's fun. Um, you should try it. Um, oh, don't really got much more to say. So, uh, try out Ring Fit Adventure. It's a hell of a workout. I am very tired. I will go take a shower now, write my happiness journal, and then maybe pass out. It's you. Hey kids. So today I am in a practice room um, at school because I have to eat, um, but I also have to practice. So we are killing two birds with one stone, but I am going to try something new. Um, we are going to be trying kombucha. So we'll see. I got g ginger, I don't know. No one told me about this one. I saw it and I was like, I'm gonna try that. Really just because I like Beetlejuice a lot and they talk about it and I was like, well, I'll try it. And also that meme or whatever was last year where she was like, so we'll try it. Ooh, good thing, good pop. Mm, okay, so it already doesn't smell great. Bottoms up kids. Oh, that's good. I am a kombucha person. Bad aftertaste. I don't even know if this is healthy for you. Are people just like putting, uh, there's gotta be a reason people are drinking this. Well, it's gluten-free, it's non-dairy. It's only got 35 calories. Made with black tea, green tea, filtered water, cane sugar, ginger extract. And I guess that's it. We believe health and wellness begins at your core. Kavita Master Brew Kombucha is fermented with our proprietary kombucha tea culture, crafted with billions of live probiotics. I don't like that. Uh, don't put that on your label. Don't put, there's live things. This isn't sea monkeys. Am I drinking sea monkeys? Are sea monkeys technically seafood? Oh gosh. It's really got a bite afterwards. Oh, I don't hate it. Like if it if it was available, I just don't know what it does. Like, does this do anything special? Or is it just snake oil with sea monkeys in it? Kombucha is just snake oil with sea monkeys in it, isn't it? Well, anyway. There's our new thing. Um, go try some kombucha. Tell me what you think about it. Um, I'm still probably gonna drink this whole thing. It's just kinda, you get used to it after a while. But like, I really need to know what the benefits to drinking this are. Um, so if you wanna tell me about that, tell me about it down below. I will probably Google it anyway, but I'd be in, interested to know what what some of them are. I've also started adding um, garbage back into my diet. Um, I've been eating just really salads and whole grain bread and stuff, but school started and I want this sandwich. So, I mean, like, I'm definitely working out enough now with Ring Fit Adventure, especially as you guys just saw <laughs> that um, I think it, I think it's gonna, I think it's still gonna even out pretty well. Like, I was only kind of doing some light exercising to get myself into it, but now that I'm actually doing Ring Fit Adventure and I'm like going out and running, um, 
Yeah, I think I can add some Taco Bell and, and some of this. Within portion sizes, obviously, but I could still add some more garbage back into my diet. So, well, I guess all I have left to say is uh, eat some food that makes you happy, work out that makes you happy, try some kombucha, try something else new. Um, cheers, mates. I'm gonna be honest, after drinking a whole bottle of kombucha, the salt and vinegar sea monkeys didn't really taste all that bad. Hey guys! So we're out for a walk again. Maybe one of the last walks for a while. It's getting very cold out. Uh, got done with my stretching. Had a very busy day. So, trying to get some walking in. I'll see if I stay out the whole time. It is very cold. Um, well, that's not terrible. I live in Michigan, so we've seen worse. There's like no snow, at least. Just when the wind picks up, that good, that good, good wind chill. Oof. So basically, at this point I'm about, oh, what's today, January 16th, 17th? One of them, 17th. Uh, me and my friend John are going to Hiprov, which is a uh, hypnosis improv sort of thing uh, with Colin Mockery from Whose Lines In Anyway, so I'm very excited about that. Um, so I'm just taking a quick walk before that. But but basically, uh, we are 17 days into this. We've had a few rough days. Uh, changed around a little bit of what I'm doing sometimes. I'm giving myself a break because... I didn't realize that exercising every single day and uh, especially playing ring fit for as many days in a row as I did uh, really took a toll on my body because <laughs> I started walking around work the other day and I was like, wow, the back of my legs are on fire. So we are, we're taking some more walks here and there and uh, I've added a rest day on, around, on Sundays normally. My friends and me started a D&D podcast. That's really fun. The goal of the campaign is for the five of us and around 35 NPCs that my friend Jono is playing. <laughs> um, which I, I can't even tell you if that is a big number for him or not. <laughs> he, he, has a, he is a man of a thousand different voices and is a beautiful human. But we are... Uh, we're trying to build a utopia in it. And uh, I am playing an older paladin fellow who uh, is kind of it's kind of a hermit. He does not really know how to talk to people. So it's fun. Uh, I'll link that down below, like I said. Uh, and you can check it out. Um, I don't think our first video... Or video? I don't think our first podcast is going live for a minute. So... Uh, I will just link you where to find it when it does go up, and obviously, uh, you can check it out. I've been in classes now for about a week. Well, this is the second week. Um, that's been going well, too. I, I have a fairly easy semester, as it seems so far. Well, that is until Sunday in the Park with George starts. Uh, I don't think I've told you guys about that, but I'm playing Jules in Sunday in the Park with George. Um... One of Sondheim's harder shows. I'm very excited for the challenge. Um, yeah, it's going to be really fun. Um, so I'm going to have that this, this semester. I've been memorizing for that. Uh, I got a whole scene memorized for class that we're doing. Uh, we're doing Hello Again scenes. I don't know if you know the show at all, but it is uh, it's very uh, sex-driven. There's a lot of sex. There's a whole, whole lot of sex. And that's kind of what we're, we're working on is how do we feel safe in scenes? How do we make sure our partner's safe in scenes? So on and so forth. It's been really fun to learn everything for that. So, yeah, things are going good. Um, but like I was saying, I have had a few difficult days with this, this workout and lifestyle change regimen. I have fallen off, and that's okay. You know, as well, it's not about how you fall off. It's more about how you get back on. So... There have been many a day where I'm like, boy, I don't want to do any sit-ups or push-ups today. And then I just do them. When, when you think that you can't is, is when you maybe need them most. So, 
I'd like to hear some of the stuff you guys are listening to. Uh, got any good musical suggestions? I obviously listen to a ridiculous amount of things. But I'd like to hear what you guys are listening to. Uh, what's on your uh, workout playlist and stuff. I don't know if I posted mine in the last video. I'll post it in this one. Um, so you can check out that stuff. As long as I remember to do it again. If not, yell at me in the comments. <laughs> so uh, I guess that's my question. Is what... What have you been listening to while working out and stuff? And um, what else is going on with you? Just tell me about whatever you want down in the comments. But I suppose that's my question for you. My hands are very cold. I guess if I have any advice, it's not really right around this trash can where I always get to this part for some reason, which is weird. Um, but I guess if I have any advice to uh, help you move forward Randomly, at 11 o'clock this morning, I wrote down some some advice that, that maybe I'd like to pass along to you, and maybe you'll get some use out of them. Now, I woke up at 11 o'clock, so this could be something interesting, and this could just be nothing. But what I wrote down is there's a difference between being patient and being ignored. Being patient means that you understand that other people are busy too and that the world doesn't revolve around you as it shouldn't but there comes a point where if other people are not making you a priority and you are always making them a priority then maybe you should not drop them all together by any means, but just reach out to them and be like, hey, are you doing okay? Hey, am, am, I, am I doing something wrong that you don't like? Just check up on them because you never know what people are going through. But you also don't want to just keep, I don't know, You want to make sure everyone else is okay and that they're not just not answering you because they've been going through it or whatever. Um, so just reach out to them. Make sure that they know that you care about them and that you want to talk to them more if they are down for talking or whatever. I don't know. I, I can't think of the right words, but basically just gotta ask yourself am I being patient or am I being ignored and then if they respond to you and they're like yeah hey I have been going through it thanks for reaching out and then maybe they don't even tell you anymore but I, I think as a whole our generation has a very bad habit of not reaching out to people and telling them Hey, I'm sorry. <laughs> I still want like I still want to talk to you, but I'm just going through so much and I have a lot on my plate. So, uh, keep sending me memes, whatever. Just <laughs> I'm glad that you always stay in touch with me and I'm glad to see them. But uh, if I don't answer, then it's it's because I'm dealing with a lot of stuff. And that's the communication that's why communication is important in friendships, in every type of relationship, even especially between parents and <laughs> kids, where it's just like, just tell me that you're having a hard time and I will understand and I will just lay back a little or I'll keep doing what I am doing. But communication is key. Now, if you're being ignored, it means that they are actively trying to not talk to you and they are actively trying to get away from you. And at that point, you're making them uncomfortable, so you should just stop. I have a problem where I have so many people all the time that I am just trying to reach out to and talk to again and not lose connections that I'm, I'm constantly worried that there's going to be someone who will eventually text me and be like, why haven't you texted me in a while? And I'll be like, 
sorry. And then I will add them back to the list in my head of everyone that I have to keep back in touch with. And it's a two-way street. It always is. If somebody wants you in their lives, they will make an effort. But also, you got to reach out to them occasionally because some people are just busy. And you just reach out to them and you're like, hey, I really enjoy having you in my life. I want to help if there's anything that I can help you with. I want to talk to you more. And that's it. And then you see where it goes from there. Either they'll text you back and be like, oh yeah, I want to talk to you too. I'm just really dealing with a lot of things right now. I'm super busy and swamped and I just don't have the mental energy at the end of the day to text you and I'm sorry. And then you say, no, that's that's fine. That's all right. Just, just checking up on you because you're my friend. I want to make sure that you're all right. But you kind of watch out for yourself too a little bit sometimes. And I don't know. If you want someone in your life you will be very patient. You will understand that everyone goes through things all the time. And that's that's just a part of life. I mean, you deal with things on a daily basis that everyone else couldn't possibly know about. But again, it, it comes down to when you're going through things too, you reach out to the people that you care about and you're like, hey, I might go a little radio silent on you for a little bit. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just going through it. Um, again, communication is key on both fronts. It's a two-way street. Um, I don't know. I just... I think all relationships would be stronger if parents and kids and wives and husbands and boyfriends and girlfriends and best friends and even just acquaintances every so often would just communicate more openly and be like hey I love you I'm sorry I've been distant but like I I just gotta take some time for myself and that's that's all you gotta say if you get a certain level of happiness out of being in a relationship no matter what it is then it's worth it but if it dips down into the area where the work to keep up the friendship outweighs the rewards for you, then why, why keep digging a hole for yourself? And I don't know, just find things that make you happy. Well, anyway, guys, I didn't want to take up too much of your time here. So I'm, I'm going to leave you with this quote from the Bathtub Barracuda from Courage the Cowardly Dog. And uh, just keep at it. I believe in you. Love you guys. See you next video.